Spikes, what is up? We are back in the studio today uh, playing some casual commander with uh, our good friends, Alex, Elliot, Maddie. Um, yeah, we're going to get right into it. I'm playing the Ozolith. This is a rule zero deck. We talked about it before the game and everybody's okay with me playing the Ozolith as my commander. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's a Dimir Voltron deck. The whole idea is getting a whole bunch of counters on the Ozolith and animating it and swinging in for combat damage. Um, yeah, cool deck. It's a little on the slow side and it's kind of weak to edicts, but uh, we're going to see what we can do today. Cool. Uh, I'm playing Alenda the Dusk Rose again. Well, what's your name? Uh, my name is Madison. I am playing Alenda. <laughs> this is a Vampire Aristocrats deck, so it has a lot of life gain cards. Uh, it's going to drain everybody for all their life, hopefully. We're going to play lots of vampires. Maybe we'll meet Hook somebody if we're lucky. That card's good. I don't want to end uh, Isn't that card banned? Hook. Yeah, not on this one. Not at this table. <laughs> Shouldn't you? Do? Hang on, I'm taking some notes here. <laughs> right meet down. Hook. Writes down Meet Hook. <laughs> uh, I'm Elliot. I'm playing ba Balan, 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 Wonder uh, Wandering Knight. Oh. Um, in Jumpstart 2022, they released uh, a line of anime cards and turned Balan, Wandering Knight, into a cat girl. So I'm oh, playing it. <laughs> The deck name is <laughs> the deck name on uh, my mox field is uh, Balan or er, no sorry is Cat Girl with a big hammer uh, because the goal of my uh, strategy is to equip the Cat Girl with a big hammer and then bonk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Elliot does have a type. It's bonk. Mm -hmm. It's Cat Girls. <laughs> oh, well, that makes even more sense. Hi everybody, my name's Alex, and just like Jim, I made everyone else agree to something that I proposed before the game, and that's playing my Assemble the Legion Rule Zero deck. The deck. <clears throat> yeah, that's the one. It's a creatureless, go-wide deck. This whole stack has no creatures in it whatsoever, but lots of instant sorceries, enchantments, and other things that do make creatures. And so we pack in a bunch of anthems, and since we're going last, we're probably gonna cry all the way to the bank. I like it when Alex cries, because yeah. it means that I'm not going last. I like it when Alex goes to the bank. <laughs> uh, Does he bring you something? <laughs> ready to start the game? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play a swamp and cast my commander, the Ozolith. Oh That's my nice god, it's a one. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Modfly Altars, who uh, was kind enough to send me this awesome Ozolith altar. Uh, it's gorgeous. I do have the uh, original one here to refer to for text purposes, but uh, I'll pass the turn. It's very cool. Yeah, you know, it's all right. Draw a card. Uh, you know, it's like only the coolest thing you've ever seen. It's, only it's the coolest thing you've ever seen. That's all. Yeah. Hey, Jim, where can people find Modfly Alters if they wanted to? Uh, search Modfly Alters on your favorite Google. Um, on Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, I don't know what Modfly is. It's Twitter. at Modfly Alters, I think. Is it? Yeah. One word? Sure. Would you bet your there life on it? I would. Scoring. I would bet Maddie's life on it. You know what? We're just going to put it on screen. No. And in the meantime. No, we're not. <laughs> hang on, reveal hang this on, form. hang on, No, I would like to take my Modfly. turn. That's too bad. At Modfly Alters on Twitter. Is there an underscore? No. Oh. At Modfly underscore Alters? No. At Modfly. Mod, at M O underscore D. Anyway, <laughs> Chilling, Mod D. Chilling but not sponsored over. <laughs> Maddie's turn. All right, go. I'm going to reveal this swamp. Okay, so I'm going to reveal this swamp from my hand to play Shine to Shadow Snarl untapped. Very good. That's a tongue twister. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm going to draw over my turn. Uh, I'm going to play a basic planes. You're going to see a lot of those. And then I'm going to play. Uh, Commander's Plate. Uh, so this is a one drop equipment. Uh, it has equip commander for three or equip any creature for five. An equip creature gets plus three plus three and has protection from each color that's not in my commander's color identity, which is white. Mm -hmm. Cool. Neat. Pass. All right. I'll help you out, Elliot. Thanks. Also planes. <gasps> also pass. Okay. Wow. How does that help? You tap. He said we're going to see a lot of planes. Oh. I'll draw a card. I'm mm -hmm. going to play an island mm -hmm. and cast a dimmer signet. Ooh. And then I'm going to pass the turn. All right, draw a card. I prefer brighter signet. I'm going to play a swap. <laughs> I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw for my turn. Oh, we're going to play that one before we play this other thing. I'm going to play another planes and I'm going to play a good friend of the channel. <laughs> SRAM. Oh, I thought it was going to be Modfly Alters. <laughs> oh, that'd be crazy. Uh, SRAM so crazy. Senior ed Edificer, not Artificer. And he's not an Artificer. He's a Dwarf Advisor. Anyway, whenever I cast an aura equipment or vehicle spell, draw a card. An Art Advisor? Art Advisor. Ed of... Art Mame. Advisor? Pass. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll untap, upkeep, draw. We'll play a Mountain. We'll tap two. 
and we will cast Dragon Fodder. Ooh. Ooh. Anybody got any dragons? Two goblins. No dragons, just the fodder. No dragons. Two goblins. Yeah. And these gigantic dice. So cool. Best turn. Yeah, if you want these dice, by the way, you can get them on our Patreon. We have a tier where you can get all sorts of cool Spike Feeders merch. So go check it out. Link's in the description. Uh, I am going to draw a card for my turn. You would. Uh, I'll play a Swamp. Then I'm going to cast Retribution of the Ancients. <laughs> We're getting spicy. And uh, I'm just going to pass the turn. All right, draw a card. I'm going to play a Fetid Heath. And this is really familiar from the last game that we played, a Bastion of Remembrance. <gasps> Sebastian. Sebastian! Sebastian! You didn't even erase him. Look, no, he's, he's, coming, he's right there. He's coming back. He's back. Sebastian. Shout out to Sebastian. Wow. So cute. <laughs> if there are any Sebastian fans in chat, hashtag Sebastian down below. Don't yeah. look up how to spell it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Untap. Uh, draw for my turn. It's a good one. Uh, I'm going to play Basic Planes. I warned you. Yeah, you did. It keeps happening, bro. Sure did. Uh, then, this deck's sweet. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Bloodforged <laughs> Battle Axe. <laughs> uh, this is a one drop uh, with equip two and equip creature gets plus two plus O. Oh, and whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, create a token that's a copy of Bloodforged Battle Axe. That's cool. Uh, that is cool. When I cast it, I'm going to trigger SRAM to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's it like to have a perfect mana base? Cringe. It's cringe. It's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this SRAM came into play last turn. But everybody's got blockers. It's a little sad. But I am going to uh, suit him up, or I guess attempt to suit him up, with the Battle Axe. And I'm going to swing a 4-2 at Jim. No I forgot Ozil is not a creature. No blocks. Go to 36. Uh, Jim goes to 36. I have a Blood Forged Battle Axe trigger. This <laughs> is my Blood Forged Battle Axe copy. Sure. Unfortunately, it doesn't like enter equipped to him or anything, but I don't consider that to be unfortunate. <laughs> your mom. Pass. <laughs> Talking about your grandmother that way. Awful. Draw a card. We'll play almost a planes in Castle Ardenvale. I play that one too, I think. <laughs> we'll move to attacks. Elliot, mm -hmm. take two. Ah, uh, block. That doesn't work that way. What? 38. We'll then tap one, two mm -hmm. to play Barb Spike, which comes in attached to a Thopter. Whoa. Neat. I've never seen this card before. I've never seen this card either. I should play this card. <laughs> so now I have a 2-1 flyer and I'll pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in your end step, I'm going to cast Mystical Tutor. Uh-oh. That can't be good for us. Oh. I'm getting this Mystic Reflection. Okay. Oh, weird one. Um, and then... That's Alex's end step, I think, right? Yes. Is that then, where we are? <laughs> yeah, then I'm going to untap. I'll draw this for my turn. Then I'll play a Swamp. I'm just going to pass the turn. Mm. Okay. Nothing suspicious happening over there, I'm sure. Right. Okay. I'm actually certain. Right. I'm actually certain. Sure. Don't call me certain. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play Castle Lockthorn. And I'm going to cast Elenda. Get in there. Sure. Dusky Rose. What are you I'll doing? Let it happen. You'll oh. let it happen. Go ahead. He could wait. Oh, since you're letting it happen, take one. <gasps> okay. Well, now he's not going to let it happen. Yeah. Retro retroactively. I go to thirty-five. Thirty-five. All right. Nope. I will untap. I will draw from it. I'm going to play not a basic planes, a crystal vein. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, taps for colorless. I can sack it to add two colorless, and then uh, you know Jim. Jim searched his library. I want to search my library. Uh, I'm going to cast Open the Armory oh. uh, to search for an aura or equipment. Reveal it, put it in my hand, then shuff. Are you getting a big hammer? Off of my Open the Armory, I'm going to put some boots into my hand. Ooh. Some Lightning Greaves. Mm -hmm. yeah, those are pretty good, uh, I've heard. Uh, oh, look. Two mana left. Attempt to cast these Lightning Greaves. Trigger SRAM. Sure. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. Uh, and then, uh, what do you know? He's gonna, he likes the boots. He's gonna try to put the boots on. I thought he was gonna, oh. 
You got to do it too, right? <laughs> okay. For the yeah, meme. With my tapped out <laughs> Come mana. On, for the meme. You could have a. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what's the black? Uh, Rollick? Yeah, Deadly Rollick. Maybe uh, I do. Well, you should probably cast it then. I don't. Okay. <laughs> wait for Balan. Greaves on the SRAM. Combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jimbo, it's you again. Yeah, okay. Uh, you take another four. Hmm. Go to 31. 31. I make. Uh, can I have another thing? Because <laughs> I, I will probably be equipping them separately, but I'm not going to draw another one. I'm just going to make a second. Oh, this doesn't really work, hey? Do you want the markers again? No, yes. <laughs> I'll do it off screen, though. Off of this trigger, I'm going to make a second uh, Bloodforged Battle Axe copy, but it's going to take me a second here, so I'm just going to pass the turn to Alex. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, so just so you know, if it had been night, it would now be day. Mm, true. I said it's night, but with a K. Yeah. Also night with a K mm -hmm. is Outlaw's Merriment. Oh no, that card's very what good. What does that do? Outlaw's Merriment is an enchantment that says at the beginning of your upkeep, choose one at random, create a red and white creature token with the, those characteristics. A 3-1 human warrior with trample and haste. A 2-1 human cleric with lifelink and haste. A 1-2 human rogue with haste, and when this creature enters the battlefield, deals one damage to any target. Neat. Very. Yeah. Take two, Jim. Sure. Go wow. Everybody hates Jim, am I right? Apparently. That's my favorite sitcom. Pass the turn. Okay. I will draw a card. We only got five mana. That's such an awkward place to be. It's tough for you. Um, I am going to tap four and cast Kalidas, Traitor of Get. That's a, a nasty little number. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Um, tap. Draw a card. <laughs> It's that pudding working. So <laughs> it's that stuff. Pudding. <laughs> stuff. Uh, I'm going to play a planes. And I'm going to cast Edgar, Charmed Groom. Ooh. Ooh. I haven't seen him in forever. Yeah, that's colors. So other vamps get plus one plus one, and then when it he dies, turns into it a coffin or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> well, you got some stuff. You got some stuff. So, uh. I, ooh, I do don't have, have creatures, stuff. no. Hit you for one. One. Whole big one. Seven. Pass. On tap. Uh, draw. I'm gonna play another basic planes, and then I can do some some stuff here potentially. Jim's got a black open. Maddie's got a black open. Well, you know, I didn't come here to be a coward. Oh. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> uh, one, two, sacrifice this crystal vein, three, four. Cast, Balan, Wandering Knight. Effects, effects, effects. You got it. One and a white. Attach all equipment I control to Balan. Effects, effects, effects. Balan is now wearing some boots and some armor and holding three axes. you feel like you should have like axes. a cat thing that you do when you cast it? I could, but I don't. So, you know, it's tough. Okay. Um, she also has uh, plus three, plus three, and then plus six, plus oh, uh, for a total of... Plus nine, plus, plus three. nine, plus three. Mm -hmm. uh, and she does have two or more equipment attached, so she is double striking, hasting, protection from everything but white. I have some bad and, news. And Shroud. And Shroud. I'd like to go to combat. Uh huh. Madison. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of damage. It is. How I'm, much damage is that? Uh, is that you, lethal? lethal? You would die. Uh, so she is a 12 6, so Stop you would take strike. 24. But I can't block you, right? It does have protection from black. Mm hmm. Uh, the oh yeah, the human token is white. Sebastian, Sebastian why? How dare you? She did hit me for one though. Don't forget it. Yeah, <laughs> I have literally nothing. Okay. So I have really good news for the rest of the table. Mm -hmm. uh, she's holding three Bloodforged battle axes. So uh, the first one hits and makes three copies, and then double strike happens and makes three copies. <laughs> 
Uh, and Maddie goes to dead dead. 24 uh, commander damage and dies. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, go ahead, Alex. I should have saved this mystic reflection. <laughs> That's, uh, I thought we were playing a casual game. Yeah, you know, I thought we were having fun with friends, uh, right? <laughs> one, two, warrior, three, four, cleric, five, six, rogue. Five, six, rogue. You got a rogue. Alrighty. Does that happen to be a red, white rogue? Sure does. Uh, shame for you. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, it comes in the battlefield, deals one damage target. Uh, anything going to be your face? You got it. 36. Might I remind you the last person that dealt one to me died this turn. That's fair. I'm going to draw my card for turn. Sure did. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, might I remind you? One, two, three, four, five. Divine <gasps> Visitation. Ooh, angels. Sure. White angels, even. Tough. Rough. Tumble. Mm -hmm. Pass. Okay. I will untap. This is maybe my last uh, draw. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to cast uh, Hagra Constrictor. Mm -hmm. uh, it enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it, and each creature I control with a plus one plus one counter on it has menace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, then I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> okay, I'm going to untap. Uh, I'm going to draw for my turn. I'm going to try to go to combat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack Jim. Uh, yeah, I have no eligible blockers, so I will die. Uh, I make s six more Bloodforged Battle Axes. <laughs> you didn't want to attach them at instant speed? I don't. It's fine. Um, second main phase. Felwar Stone. Mm -hmm. Worn Power Stone. Uh, go ahead, Alex. Thank you. I'll untap, and then we'll go... Uh... One, two, warrior, three, four, rogue. It doesn't matter because they come in as angels, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. He rolls anyway. Oh, look. Oh, look. <laughs> it's an angel. <laughs> yeah. I like rolls anyway. That's nice. <sighs> look, I have good news and I have bad news. What's the good news? You've got white creatures. What's the bad news? I might draw trample. <laughs> Oh, you don't have trample yet? Not currently. Oh, well, yeah. we're up easy. Yeah, you're living, pal. Mm -hmm. You're a liver. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm uh, gonna cook you up with some onions. Shout out to my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we film after I get to eat food? Honestly, I don't know, <laughs> but this is Kadolfa Rebirth. We're gonna sacrifice Barb Spike to make three goblins. Oh, look, there's some angels. That's a lot of angels, actually. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's true. It's a good thing I have double strike. It's true. Uh, we're going to go ahead and one, do one, two, three, four. And we'll cast Sends Enlistment. Gets us two more angels. You might wow. be dead <laughs> if you don't draw Trample. He's got six four fours. Correct. Yeah. That's a lot of four fours. I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> true. Anyway, we'll pass the turn. All righty. Uh, yeah, untap. This happened a lot quicker than I anticipated. Uh -huh. I mean, things <laughs> Elliot says. Draw for my turn. I will cast this Armored Sky Hunter. Uh, so it's a four mana, three, three Cat Knight. Uh, it's got flying, and when it attacks, I can look at the top six, uh, put an aura or equipment card from among them onto the battlefield, and if it was an equipment, I can attach it uh, to a creature I control. And then Second. I put the rest of those cards on the bottom in a random order. Pretty good. Uh, I'm going to head on over to combat. Do it. Uh, Balin's going to swing at my good friend Alex. I will declare a block with this stopter. Would you like to activate anything before damage? Nah. Okay. Uh, so first strike damage? <laughs> first strike damage kills the stopter. Okay. I don't have trample. It's sad. Uh, I will pay three more. I'm also going to cast this fun little guy. Brass Squire. Uh, it's a 3-mana 1-3 artifact creature mirror tap mm -hmm. to attach target equipment I control to target creature I control. And I will pass the turn. Sounds good. We're going to untap and we'll roll for Outlaw's Merriment. Okay, good job. Nice angel. Thank you. First try. <laughs> First try every time. Show me the card. Well, that one can't attack. Potentially relevant. History of Banalia. Make a knight, which is an angel. Mm -hmm. Got it. Divine Sacrament. It's an anthem. With threshold, Ooh. it becomes an additional anthem. Huh. 
I'd like to move to attacks. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> 30. <laughs> 30, he says. Well, I'm not blocking with this armored sky hunter because I need the trigger to find me a trample equipment. So I will go to six. <laughs> Good luck, have fun. This game took a turn. It yeah. certainly did. Okay. Of the cards, heart of the cards. Big money, no whammies. Let's see but, it. but for me, though. Let's see it. Ugh. Oh. That do it? No. <laughs> kind of, but not this turn. I'm at six. Oh, God, it doesn't do it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. Right, okay. Got? I got going to combat. Yep. I got attacking with Balan and Armored Sky Hunter. Trigger Armored Sky Hunter. Trigger results. Look at the top six. Here we go. Okay. All right. We've got Nahiri the Lithomancer, Love not it. an equipment. Love it. Hammer of Nazan no gives trample. plus two plus oh and indestructible, not trample. Hero's Heirloom gives Trample and Haste. Oh. Uh, we've got Golem Skin Gauntlets, which is, does some things. Mask of Memory and Demolition Field. Those will go on the bottom. Uh, it is an equipment that will enter, uh, so it will get equipped to my Balan, or attached to my Balan. Mm-hmm. Big, com- coming at you, pal. Any blocks. <laughs> I'll block with 40. I will. Activate Balan. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, let's tally okay. it Okay. So. And it's got double strike though, right? It does have double strike. Oh, well then, yeah, Mega Dead. So, 6, no? 12, uh, 14 times 2. 28. 28, 30, 3, uh, 30, 4, 35, 36, 37, 38. Yeah. Double strike. Oh. 38 total. 38 total, double yes. strike trample. So first strike damage, I'll deal 38 damage to the angels. Oh, right, double strike. Yeah, that's the game, yeah. good game. <laughs> 40 commander damage. Wow. Brutal. Uh, wow. That was huh. fast too, that was a fast game. Yeah, what turn was that, five? Six. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't counting. Very good. The card that I drew for a turn was Promise of Loyalty, which Makes is sense. like a tragic arrogance effect. Sure. I, uh, each player puts a vow counter, on a, vow counter on a creature they control, sacrifices the rest, and they can't attack me for as long as it has a vow counter on it. Mm. So I was living, mm-hmm. but not necessarily winning that turn, and then I, I hit a trample equipment. Balan is yeah, aggressive. Well, lucky. Um, I think it was the battle axe, yeah. if I'm being yeah. honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, without the battle axe, I um, this, uh, pops this hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I had a aggro constrictor. He certainly um, did. My uh, my one creature I had had menace. It certainly did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what I did. It's like I, you get on the bike, you start riding the bike, and then, and then you, you fall, fall right into a wall. You yeah. fall it's off like the that, bike and get ran over by a bus. It's, it's like that meme where the where the guy sticks a stick in his own bike wheel, yeah. except that guy is just Elliot off camera sticking the, the stick, a stick the into your bike wheel. Yes. I gotta say, I did appreciate how smooth your rollout was there with SRAM. Yeah. I'm, right, yeah, like the really two good. one mana equipments was crazy, right? Cause yeah. like I played one of them on turn one. I actually drew the SRAM on turn two. Uh, Cause otherwise my turn two play was just like, play the battle axe, do nothing. And then I was like, oh, uh, this card's really good. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. And then it, uh, yeah, I don't think I missed a land drop except maybe the last turn there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of them was crystal vein, like. And like shroud was so important. Oh my God, protection shroud, so protection important. from everything but white, like. You know, if you want to get all of your stuff protection from everything, uh, you should definitely check out Game Genic stuff. Yeah. They are so kind enough to sponsor this show. We uh, actually um, advertise for them because we genuinely believe in their products. Uh, they're actually really well made. Mm-hmm. And uh, got a, yeah. multiples of them yeah, a lot of really screen cool, like, yeah. like innovative cool and durable and stuff. stuff. Uh, that you can protect your stuff with. So definitely yeah. go check out Game Genic. Right, right about the time this comes out, we should be starting to see some of those uh, academic 133s uh, from Game Genic mm-hmm. and the professor oh, yeah. get into people's hands. So if you I ordered one. Me back too. that Kickstarter, yeah. uh, make sure you're checking your uh, mm-hmm. email for that. I know I'm going to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. But in the meantime, folks, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell seven friends about us. We really appreciate it. And uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. 
huge shout out to all of our Patreon supporters, especially all the folks who have come and check out our new Patreon tiers. That's right, we've completely redesigned the tiers for 2023, so if you want new stuff, interesting stuff, or just want to see your name up on this big board of names, head on over to Patreon. Thank you so much for the support, and have a great day. Hey, thank you for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window, or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos.